now that the fire are running, I'm ready to start the preparation. Because today we are gonna do a post preparation. I have this much rocks, uh, small pieces mostly, yeah. But not a problem, because I don't hate tiny fossils. We have some ammonites, some other goodies, and the star of the show are gonna be these slightly bigger ammonite that is fully encased in rock and that we will try to excavate. And hopefully today I will make my tiny fossils collection a little bit bigger. Okay, let's start from something simple. This gastropod. It's almost out of matrix. Oh, wait. <laughs> There is also ammonite in here, look at this. So let's remove the gastropod first. There we go, first gastropod is freed and it's in perfect condition and it's from the Jurassic period, approximately 180 mil million years old and it looks almost modern with, with all the shell, in, shell intact. Okay, let's move on. Now the ammonite. So cent cleaning center of this one I didn't manage, so it's not as cool, but I'm afraid it would break if I would try. This one is a brachiopod and it's fully calcified, which is kind of neat. The light shines through it. Calcite crystals. Yeah, I have to keep adding logs once in a while. So the fire keeps going because last time when I was prepping ember in this future ember, ember cave I got really cold so today I want to get warm. The time has come to try and prep this one. I'm a little bit worried about this one. It's my biggest ammonite of the day even though it's tiny for you I guess. Um, yeah this concretion is rock solid and when I say rock solid I mean like iron solid because it looks very, very pirateized. It seems like there, it was bigger because I think this is the outer kill of the ammonite. It was, it's going something like this. But yeah, it's damaged even from this side. So in the outer kill we won't be able to save. Let's try at least to save the inner ones.
it didn't pop off out of here something like this unfortunately <laughs> the middle was not preserved so I couldn't uh, find the middle when I was prepping this piece so it is how it is it's tiny ammonite with not prepped middle but it does have some color even though you don't see it on camera maybe during the day it will show it better so not very cool unfortunately oh no <laughs> We have quite well preserved middle. We did, did poke some holes in it. Looks like uh, the inside there is nothing. And some holes appear not from actually poking, but from the wind pressure, which is interesting. Just how fragile it is. So this side. It would be perfect, but the, the side of that one it is missing. <laughs> there was the outer rock layer. Quite cool. I like it. Okay, let's take this one. And it has hollow middle, so <laughs> I don't expect to take it in one piece, but we will try anyway. And we did, it's perfectly fine, <laughs> even though it has partially hollow middle. Same story with this one, also hollow middle. One broken piece of ammonite. And tiny brachiopod calcified, let's take it out. It's not perfect, but it's okay. Just need to pop off a little bit of matrix from this side. There we go. Yes. It's cool. <laughs> I will cover it with paraloid for preservation. Okay, that's going quite well. Let's pick another piece. I have quite a lot of these pieces of matrix with tiny fossils and looks like we have yet another tiny ammonite. This one probably the smallest. <laughs> and yeah, I'm repeating well sale, but even though these are not impressive big fossils, they are really cute and I like them a lot. So I'm taking extra time to extract every single ammonite because they are precious for me. Uh, they are from my home, home country, Lithuania, and there is not that much fossils around, especially ammonite. So I'm trying to get as much as possible before they run out, because that clay quarry, it's every single year there is less and less of these fossils. This one, it came out perfectly and it has some nice colors. Uh, I will show you when it's daylight, the colors, because it's truly beautiful. So glad that I managed to take it out. Yeah, today is light, it's very sucky. This ammonite is probably the best from today. Too bad one sided, but this side. More perfect. Look at this. 
I think I'm out of ammonites, but I have a complete bivalve, which is also cool, and let's take it out. Yes, so this side broke, unfortunately. Other than that, it's cool. It's the second day now and we have so better light, so take a look at this. And also, I do have my digital microscope, which I use for my ember pictures, and we will do the same for this, because in this, I have a few giants, which is quite impossible to see with naked eye. This ammonite is called Cosmoceras. It's fully calcified. Part of the shell is still iridescent, and the spots where it's missing, we see the suture lines on top of the calcite. Perfect tiny ammonite. I did some extra pictures for other tiny fossils, so it's easier to inspect all the details. Don't get deceived by the preservation, they look incredibly well preserved, but all of these are from the Jurassic period, over 180 million years old. After a few years of hunting in that Jurassic quarry, I have found only single bigger gastropod and few bigger ammonites. Most of the fossils are tiny. I wonder why is that? Is it possible that that location was perfect nursery for juvenile gastropods and other sea creatures? With these new additions to my box of tiny fossils, I'm getting closer to filling it all up and I need a better way to sh show off my tiny fossil collection. If you have suggestions how to display it better, let me know. I'm thinking of putting them in the frame of the picture under the glass. And yeah, this is it for the video. If you enjoyed it, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel that keeps me motivated to continue providing these fossil videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!